So guys, what I've got for you today is how you can do the zombie bot lobby completely solo without needing a friend to basically help you out. So in order to do this, you will need a Xbox Series S or X or a PlayStation 5 as this will not work on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. So you will need two remotes in order to be able to do this. So you'll want to grab your second remote now and basically sign it in. While you've got your remote signed in, you will then want to navigate over to the directed mode and start up the map terminus. Now your split screen controller, you can just lift die out in the game, it doesn't matter, but obviously certain parts you're going to need him to participate in. So when you do need him, you'll just basically want to end the round and get him to spawn in for this part, for example. And this is just before the Nathan boss fight where you'll have to twist these valves. Both of you will have to twist this. You can't do this with just one of you, so you'll have to get your split screen spawned in. Just continue this fight as normal. Complete the fight. As soon as the fight's done, just get the key card, go up to the computer, access the computer, and then you will want to change the round to round 14. So it'll be capped off at 14. So to see the round you're on, you will actually want to look at the bottom screen as the arrow's indicating, as the top screen doesn't always show the right round. So you will want to look at what the round, the bottom screen is on. You will also want to make sure that it is not a parasite round as this will completely break the glitch and you will basically have to end the game and retry this again. So for the love of God, make sure it is not a parasite round. Now come over to the boat as directed and obviously you get these little parasites to spawn and you can kill these off it's entirely up to you but just get your split screen controller to the top of this ladder and then jump on the ladder just below him and now you want to stay frozen on this ladder do not move but you want to get your split screen to go into the room and pick up one of these canisters once in this room you will want your split screen not to kill any zombies at all and get down by the zombies I can't stress this enough, it has to be the zombies that down your split screen, otherwise this will not work. Now on the other controller, you will want to navigate over to Crab Island and basically wait here until your other controller then is basically died out. As soon as your controller has died out, you will need to wait on this island between 3 to 4 minutes. So start to stop, watch, whatever you want to do, just to count down the time. But as soon as that time is passed, you'll see zombies spawn on the island like so. They'll just continue to spawn and despawn. Now obviously you can kill these to get your levels up, get camos, do whatever. If this doesn't spawn straight away for you, there is a thing you can basically do and that is get on a boat, go over to the sea tower and come back and then hopefully this fixes it for you if they do not spawn in. Now the best place is in order to basically set up for this glitch is this room where you craft the wonder weapon to so you've got this wall by here where if you shoot in a certain place you basically get critical kills all the time without fail then you've got the window just to the side of it and this is a fast spawning location as well there is also one more that you can basically get into which is quite fast in my opinion and that is just up by the like top level where the pack of punch is on the incline lift when it's raised so just come to this window and you'll get fast spawns here too. Now you cannot pick up new power ups. You cannot use anywhere but here because it might take you to the room in that boat. And you want to avoid going anywhere near that boat as these can possibly end the glitch and that's not what we want. So your split screen controller does have to stay in the game. You cannot leave as it will basically take you out as well. Now, if you're going for your camos, then a little tip for you for doing this is basically when you do have your guns, switch them from basically automatic mode like this to semi-automatic or single fire as this will maximise headshots and minimise the amount of ammo that you're using. But obviously you've got an ammo crate to your right just by where the juggernaut is so you're not too bad for ammo. So if you like today's video and want future content then make sure you smash that subscribe button.